Your favorite bread has taken a long journey to arrive at your kitchen table. Come along as we follow the field-to-table journey of U.S. grown wheat. All bread starts as a seed, but not just any seed. It's been carefully selected by trained scientists who handpick the seeds, or kernels, to become a new wheat variety. Out of thousands of candidates to be a new variety of wheat, only a handful make the cut. These selected varieties become available to farmers who plant them in soil and nurture them for months while they grow into wheat plants. These farmers make choices about how to best nurture the growing plants with fertilizer and other nutrients. There are six classes of wheat that grow in 42 states across the country. They're designated by their color, hardness, and their growing season. There's white wheat that has a mild and slightly sweet taste, or there's red wheat that has a nuttier flavor. There's hard wheat, which is used for breads and pastries, or there's soft wheat, which is used for confectionery products like crackers or cookies. There's spring wheat, which is planted in the spring and harvested in the fall. Or there's winter wheat, which is planted in the fall, becomes dormant over the winter, begins to grow again in the spring, and is harvested in summer. There's also durum, the hardest of all wheats, which gets its own class and is primarily used in pastas. When the wheat is fully grown, it turns from green to gold, the bright, iconic color wheat is best known for. The plants have dried out and become brittle. This means it's time to harvest the wheat. A large machine called a combine is used to cut the wheat, similar to mowing grass. It collects the dried plants, much like a bagger on a lawnmower, and then separates the kernels from the chaff. The chaff is the dried plant, which is blown out of the back of the combine onto the soil. It protects the soil from harsh weather and collects moisture for next year's crop. The kernels, meanwhile, are collected in a large bin inside the combine. When that bin gets full, a grain cart drives beside the combine. The combine then unloads the wheat kernels into the grain cart using an auger. This allows the combine to continually collect wheat kernels the entire time, so it's harvested at the peak moment of quality. The grain cart takes the wheat kernels and unloads them into a large truck or semi that's waiting at the edge of the field. Semis take the wheat to a nearby grain elevator. Grain elevators store wheat until it's ready to be taken to its next destination, either through more semis or by train. About half of the wheat will be loaded onto large ships and exported to customers around the world, while the other half will be milled into flour right here in the United States. Once wheat arrives at a flour mill, it's cleaned to remove impurities such as sticks, stones, and other coarse and fine materials. Then it's sent to conditioning bins, where it's soaked in water for easy removal of the bran. The bran is the protective outer shell of the wheat kernel. Conditioning ensures moisture content is uniform throughout the grain because moisture helps to prevent the bran from breaking during milling. Next, different wheat is blended, known to millers as wheat grist. At this stage, different wheat batches are mixed to create the specific kind and quality of flour to meet the miller's needs. The wheat is ground by a roller mill machine that crushes it into pieces. It's then put through sifters that separate the endosperm, wheat germ, and wheat bran. These can be sold separately or used to produce different flours. For example, wheat bran, wheat germ, and white flour blended together creates whole wheat flour. Here, it can be packaged for grocery stores, or it can be sent in bulk to commercial bakeries. Today's commercial bakeries use the latest energy and water-saving technologies to produce hundreds of loaves of bread per day. These loaves are delivered to grocery stores and restaurants on a daily basis. While all of these wheat foods go through quite a complex process to get here, they're still created from the simplest, highest quality ingredient, U.S. grown wheat.